ever since film roll came out in uh, Sapphire version seven, it's been one of my most frequently used transitions. And I've seen it used more and more today um, just because it is such a cool transition and it can do so many cool things. Um, this is the stock. This is the default uh, film roll transition one second long. Um, but this doesn't like, this doesn't even really do justice for how great this is and like what you can do with it. Um, again, this is one of those ones where I'm likely to shorten it just because I think it looks better when it's shorter. Um, let me see here. So we're going to effect mode and I'm going to shorten this to say 10 frames and you can just see how like it looks a lot more frenetic when it's going fast. And um, it's this is sort of like a combination of a push slide with film damage. You notice it's got like the hairs and the scratches and the defocus of film damage. Um, so uh, you go in here and you can really start having some fun with it. Um, you can change your roll speed, make it roll faster. And you see like just a simple change with just this one parameter changes the entire character of the transition, which I love. So you can have like roll several times, um, change your roll speed to like three, and then maybe add some more motion blur on there and add more brightness, um, make the glow width more, have it look more damaged, really crank up all the stains. And you can do some really cool looks. Also, the preset browser, as you would have probably could have guessed, is full of great options for film roll. So here's big stains, blurred motion. And you get in here and you have like sort of like a creative jumping off point, And then you can go in and customize it even more. This Flickr Fest is pretty awesome. What I would probably do with Flickr Fest is bump this up to maybe 15 frames long change my roll speed to maybe three and see how that looks. Pretty awesome. Play with film roll. You'll have a lot of fun with it.